This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome. I am joined by Cad and Ben from Hi. Fortnite and we have something new to offer you today. The guys have brought along Guns and Drums Seven Year War. Make sure yeah. I'm saying this yeah. right because yeah. this is historical. This is the Nine Year Seven Year War. This is, the, <laughs> yeah. this is the two years before they decided to call it Seven Years War. This is in North America. Yeah. We tend to know it as French Indian War. It's so a forest this, war. So this is the, the war before the American War of Independence, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is almost a generation later not quite so you've got people that are earlier, 20, uh, earlier yeah you've got yeah. people that are say 20 now they're going to be in their 40s mm -hmm. you have yeah. an inexperienced uh, washington on the table as well actually oh washington's here yeah washington fought in the french and indian war uh it's slightly historically inaccurate in this demo game we're doing because mm -hmm. he's technically leading regulars he was yeah. a provincial officer mm -hmm. but um He's somebody that most people will recognize the name of. Yeah. In the uh, well, this is a, a 10 mil yep. mass battle game. So yes. you can have big armies without having big armies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the, the, whole, the whole idea of it being 10 mil is because, well, when we play our mass battle games, we mm -hmm. play, you know, ones like this, we like to play in 10 mil. Mm -hmm. I think 10 mil is a really good balance because for me, anything smaller than 10 mil tends to be a kind of gaming token mm -hmm. and t 10 mil is right on the edge because with this you want to be able to show your maneuvers and everything else this is mm -hmm. about what the commanders are thinking about rather than what the individual troops are feeling like mm -hmm. and that's for me the 10 mil is the is the sweet spot for that and i think cad feels yeah it's it allows you to if we look at like this unit here mm -hmm. um there's four stands in it. Each one of those stands is approximate, well, they're roughly 96 men. Mm -hmm. and the reason for that is it's one man to 16. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not a skirm. It's what we call by, you know, people will talk sometimes about what, what, what level of a, a, a abstraction there is. I can't mm -hmm. even say that word today. And this is a sort of middle of the ground. So, yes, you see a stand, and um, if I was to, if I was to, pick one up for instance there mm -hmm. so that there cad how many men would you that's say that's 96 men so that's about 96 men there mm -hmm. so it gives you an and also the way the game plays as you'll see we 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 we're, we're reducing the effectiveness of men so it's not like you're counting dead mm -hmm. or wounded or those that are exhausted uh, when when a stand is removed um it's to indicate the yeah. battle worthiness, I'd, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how many of you have watched it, but you had a game with Ariscany, oh, yes, um, the yeah. World War 2.5, where yeah. he expl explained about casualties for divisions, mm -hmm. how it could be 5%, 10% killed, and the divisions not mm -hmm. combat, combat ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like This is the same thing here. If you lose a stand, that's not 100 men that are dead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 100 men from now on, because it's easier than 96 every time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 97 not, with some of them. Yeah. It's not 100 men that are dead, it's... 10 men that are dead yeah there's a load of people wounded yeah. there are people that are now fighting not a full effectiveness anymore because yes. they're more concerned about backing off a little bit or yeah are they suffering battle shock yeah whatever yeah um so, so if you're playing a campaign you'd roll for how many of those actually are available to you um later on or in certain mm -hmm. environments you have an ability for um when you've rolled you know how many are dead and how many are wounded and how many were exhausted and mm -hmm. so the exhausted come back into your your campaign pool mm -hmm. if you've got some form of medical help especially if it's native indians in the in the woodland for instance or sorry first nations yeah then there's a good chance that you'll be able to use you'll have a, the, the ability to have more mm. come oh, back so I, into I a campaign. Have a, a shaman healing my man. Uh, it's more herbalist, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. you know, they can wish as much as they like, but <laughs> they tend to be dead when they're dead. And then... They're dead, Jim. It, it's also, <laughs> if there's a famous Napoleonic battle called uh, Vagram or Wagram or... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Somebody will correct me in the comments. Um, where, yeah. Sorry. Uh, where the French... There's a French super column, and this mm -hmm. is the Napoleonic period, and I think they worked out it was something ridiculous, like for every single casualty that's not dead that's casualty wounded and everything they mm -hmm. lost about four or five men because you'd get hurt mm -hmm. and we'd volunteer to take you to the back to make sure yeah. you're safe yeah. and it's nothing to do with the fact that we're not but in the, the fight but anymore the, but that's we're just friends yeah. you know i love the fact 
Wargaming has been great for being, being little amateur historians. I'm an amateur historian. Mm. I go, I love that film. I'm going to research it and everything else. And when you hear about the attrition of like these super columns, you think, well, how is that possible? Mm. But it's about functionality on the d fun uh, the ability to function on the day. Mm. So they actually didn't have heavy losses. And it was a great way to deliver troops to different parts of the battlefield. The, so that's what this is about. This is this is about what it was like to be the commander on the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, important question. We are rocking black powder weaponry. Yep. Are there reload markers? Do I need to worry about units standing there waiting to reload while you're walking toward me or charging towards me with bayonets? No, there's none of that because of the scale of the game. Mm. So if you think about um, being in charge, uh, sharp practice, you're actually only in charge of the equivalent of maybe a brigade at most. Yeah, um, which so is skirmish for this kind of thing. Yeah, bizarrely. so you're more concerned about when your men are reloaded, when they've fired. Mm -hmm. At the moment, this battalion here is led by its own colonel or mm. major. He's concerned about whether they've reloaded, whether they've fired. Mm. This brigadier here, in a bigger game, he'll have three, four battalions under him. Mm. He might be concerned about which ones have fired and which ones haven't, but you, the major general, could not care less. Yeah. You're, like, You're expecting them to do the work for you. Yeah, that brigade should take that wood. Mm -hmm. That's all you care about. The general's yeah. not into micromanagement, so you aren't in this game. I see. That's, see that's one thing for Black Powder Games that has always sort of held me back a little bit, slowed me up, is just instead of having that, that constant roll of firepower, so hearing that you've actually just got someone in the unit self-managing yeah. it, yeah. I like. Yeah, and it's the same as, although you have to decide whether they're in column or line, mm -hmm. you're not actually stating there was an instance where the British in this period, they actually fought in, everybody really fought in lines of three deep. Mm -hmm. So there's an engagement where one of the generals had their men fight two deep. You're not worrying about that. Mm -hmm. Are they in line or are they in column? Yeah. Um, We've gone off on a tangent then, but I think we should fight the, the uh, siege of Quebec with that one. The, the, yes. Because that's very interesting about how, later on, how the British mm. ended up fighting two deep, not three deep. And that may be the actual battle that caused it, but yeah. sorry. And okay. then, so you're not worrying about those things. What you are worrying about is, are those Native Americans coming around on my flank? Mm -hmm. Do I have enough reserves to cor correct the breakthrough that the French army's just made in my center? Mm -hmm. what Where's those damn natives gone? Yeah, <laughs> um, I can't believe that my regulars have just been hit in the flank by a unit of natives. Yeah. They're all things you should worry about that you shouldn't have to worry about. So you basically you're focusing in on the tactical movement yeah. of forces of this scale then. Yeah, and this is still, uh, so this is a tiny battle. Yeah, I, I know you've talked previously about tactical strategy. Mm. So in military terms, this is still tactical. Yeah. This isn't strategic, this is a tactical engagement. Mm. And that's even when you're playing the Battle of Quebec, that's 4,000 men aside. Mm -hmm. It's still tactical. The strategy was what led to the engagement, mm -hmm. the tactics of what happened on the field. So gotcha. you're still concerned about that. All right, well, what we are really concerned with today, Cad and Ben, is what the main mechanics of this yeah. new game yeah. are. Now, I know you want to make this very clear. This is still in early beta testing. Uh, it's not, uh, yeah, I would say this was alpha. Still alpha? Yeah, I mean, okay. the, the, yeah, the thing is with the game is that uh, with all the games that we make, like every club, you make your own mm. house rules, whatever. And this is really a question of tidying the game up. Mm. I mean, Cad will tell you, I'll say, oh, what about that rule? And he's going, no, mm. no. If this if this is a is a is a, a publicly available game, mm. then you have to pare back all those bits and that mm -hmm. have it as streamlined as possible. The idea of this is hopefully you guys will have a very quick game mm -hmm. because you've got many thousand two, two or three thousand people on the table. Uh, so I've got uh, you know, approximately I've got a thousand men under my command. Mm -hmm. Justin has a thousand men under his command. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this, uh, is this should a be about reasonably sized skirmish in the time period. Yeah. And uh, we were, yeah the, so um, going back. We'll probably keep reference in the Battle of Quebec. That's mm. 4,000 people aside. That is a small battle for the mm. period. Yeah. But it is probably the size you want to play with just one person and one person. Yeah. If you're doing um, Minden, which is in Europe, I think it's something crazy like 120,000 people on one side. Okay. So, so the so thousands of men have to move quickly because you, you know, there's something this size. If you two were both familiar with the game, I think mm -hmm. 15 minutes plus and this size battle could be over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's actually focus in then yep. on the actual turn structure. So how does a turn begin for us? So the Battle of Quebec took, in reality, took 10 minutes, I think. Really? Yeah. The Battle of Quebec is something that you, if minutes. you wargamed it, would mm. not represent itself necessarily yeah. correctly. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so the, the turn starts 
um, with uh, a command deck. Ooh. So, um, so this here? anybody that's used to, um, yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right. Shuffle them. Sorry, yeah, I've, yeah. I've reshuffled them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't so, do that at home. <laughs> yeah. So if you've played games that have card-based uh, turn structures, mm -hmm. um, there are quite a few of them out there. One of the most popular ones is the Two Fat Lardies with Sharp Practice mm -hmm, and things yeah. like that. Um, it does have a similar system. This is different to uh, yeah, Fabled um, Realms, I mean, which when, is... When, sorry, when Cad and Adam and I were younger, we, I, you know, um, I got Cad into using um, the, four, the Four Suits, and mm -hmm. he used to do all that. And then I remember when they got a bit... I remember you putting sticky freezer labels on. So I, I, it was quite... So I saw the progression of that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in the old days, we all used to play with playing, playing cards and that kind of thing. Um, well, what, it's a good way to give you a random activation. It's, it is a very random... Uh, act Bolt Action does a similar thing, but with tokens in a pot. Yeah, yeah so it's the, the same... The dice in the bag. It's yeah. the same yeah. activation. I think... What's different about this one, and what I really like about it, is you know you get the card that's... In, often you'll get a card and it says you can activate, mm. whereas now what we actually have is we actually have a card that really says you can do several things. Yeah. And that's what's different. So the but, first know. thing that's happened at the very start of the game is you shuffled your deck, and mm -hmm. this is based on the level of your leaders. Uh -huh. So we've got Washington here. Mm -hmm. He's currently a level one leader. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Braddock, who's a level two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I've got three command cards in there, two for Braddock, one for Washington. Mm -hmm. You've got, um, I want to say Langless, but I can't remember the card. Uh, <laughs> so he's your level two commander, mm -hmm. and you've got Damas, who's your level one commander. Okay. Now, now is that something I can influence whenever I'm building my forces yes, to put in it higher is. commanders to get yeah. more in the deck? I and mean, they'll, they'll be historic commanders. So for instance, if you did take Braddock, mm -hmm. this Braddock, we're not using all of Braddock's rules, because mm -hmm. Braddock... There's only an additional one, which is he's brave. Mm. So Braddock will always help his units and put himself in personal risk. Mm -hmm. Now Braddock is, um, we talked about Assassin's Creed earlier, yeah. um, between us. Um, if you played Assassin's Creed 3, he's the person that leads the troops and you assassinate him. Yeah. So that is General Braddock. Mm -hmm. He uh, Washington is brave. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, he uh, One of the battles, he had three horses shot out from under him. So. What, did, it, did one go down and go, oh, you, next? No, yeah. no, no, he literally had to go back and get another one. <laughs> so, uh, okay. can I just say about Washington as well, it is, because this is a, he's a younger man here, this is early mm -hmm. in his career. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he, we all know who Washington was. Yeah. Right now, he's your average commander at that rank, so he's mm -hmm. got one command. Yeah. And the thing to remember about the command is that, you, you, you know, what, like I was saying to you before we started and like you've already started to experience is sometimes not using those commands when you think you, you want to is a good idea. Yeah. Uh, it, it, but he can't, he can't hold as many options as somebody who's two, le mm. level two, because he can have two options. And somebody who's level three could actually have three commands mm. stacked up. It's like you're... They're more, it's, it's a way of building into the mechanics, the fact that this general mm. is much more able to know what to do and when yeah, to do it. Tactical sensibilities. Yeah. And yeah, and this can be translated, or the, the payout can either be um, in, in how likely you are to resist somebody's mm -hmm. offensive, how, how likely you are to be able to, you know, or, or say, um, wait till you see the whites of their eyes, chap. So mm -hmm. it's like you wait until they get closer, or it can be used to, come on, lads, let's keep and going. And there are some characters that have special activations. Mm -hmm. Alright, well we've got our scenario set up. Yep. Let's let's begin the activation so we can actually start yeah, seeing so playing out some of what we've if, been talking if about. If we draw here. the first card, if Ben if you uh, uh -huh. So who's first? It's, it's white. Oh sorry. <laughs> the first one is Washington. Okay. okay. So Washington's a level one commander. Mm -hmm. So if he was higher I could choose to do some different actions. Mm -hmm. I could choose to um, s inspire my troops, mm -hmm. which is a bonus. Um, I could choose to rally, which would remove damage from units, mm -hmm. um, because the people aren't necessarily dead, so rallying them actually gets them back into the fight. Mm -hmm. um, alternatively, I can activate, and as Washington is level one, he would you choose to either activate this turn or not at all. Yeah, really, it is. So when you're level one, there's not a lot of Washington going only on. has one battalion under his command because it's such a small game. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to move him a little bit closer? No. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to activate them. All right. Right. And you activate your units before you do other things with your character. Mm -hmm. So so how far can a unit move? These are infantry in line, so mm -hmm. they can move four inches. Okay. Your infantry here in column can move eight inches, mm -hmm. but being in column isn't just better, as mm -hmm. you'll see when you try and engage me. Okay. So I'm going to move... I'm going to move within four inches of you. Okay. It is a game that you can pre-measure. Oh, uh, yeah, you can pre-measure. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm going to do that 
is because I will engage you at short range. Now, muskets, because of the scale that you're playing in, only shoot eight inches. Mm -hmm. So, eight inch, four, over four inches to eight inches mm -hmm. is effectively long range. It's mm -hmm. not it's not effective range. Less yeah. than four inches is effective range. Mm -hmm. So I get a bonus to my dice. Now, the way we use the dice system in this game for units is they have a skill dice, mm -hmm. which um, represents their skill to do lots of things. Shooting, mm -hmm. uh, changing formation and moving at the same time, um, doing s com mainly combined actions, mm -hmm. um, but it's part of their shooting mm -hmm. ability. Then they have their equipment. Now, equipment is just because these natives are armed with muskets mm -hmm. and these regulars are armed with muskets, these natives might not have modern equipment. Yeah, 20 year old they, they might be a 20-year-old yeah. musket. Or something uncared for. Uh, yeah. Um, if you, a 12-pounder cannon mm -hmm. will have much more of an impact on your unit than a six pounder or a three pounder yes. and it's to put that in the game yeah so you know how we were saying about how that this is a different level this is a higher up level mm -hmm. i mean i'm having a lot of fun at the moment with uh, blood and plunder and yeah. some people might feel that that's too much detail about the ranges because i think every few inches it changes the effectiveness but that's actually what black powder weapons are like mm -hmm. in a skirmish game they're very um range um range uh, the, the value the yeah variable and whereas with this you're, you are a general, general, so therefore you know your chaps, your chaps will be more effective from there to there. In reality, of course, every bit further, they would have been more, more effective, but you need to keep the flow of the game. And this... Yeah. Well, it's more of a, a generalization of yes. what yeah. the, the actual yeah. range markers work like. And yeah. I do kind of like the idea that it is only eight inches, because if, if you're on a four foot wide table here, right? Yeah. While we're back here, we're not shooting and taking chunks out of each other on the way in. No. We're tactically dueling on the movement. Yeah, Are I you mean, going to push that flank? Is there going to be a counter swing coming? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What you've got Very with nice. with, uh, with the 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 natives here, you've actually got them, and they've they've all, they've been they spent two turns. Oh yeah, in here. So, yeah. So yeah, they yeah, spent these they guys. spent two turns as forest walkers. Now forest walking, it, it, the way the game works is that if you have three, even this little stand of three trees, mm -hmm. if you have three trees, or uh, uh, Anyway, so if you have three tree bases or tree foliage mm -hmm. that, that touch each other, yep. we count that as part of the forest. So that right. means they can enter the forest there. Ah. Okay. Now, and then when they come out of the forest, they can move 12 inches at a time, but it doesn't have to be from foresty bit to foresty bit to foresty bit. That's just to show it's a bit like, like local knowledge. They know how to disappear, mm -hmm. and, but they must come out again. They must form up at another place, which is forest, mm -hmm. and that would be three, three trees or more. So I couldn't do it here because there's only no. Two tree bits. That's right, and it's the same as only one. That's right. So you couldn't do it there, but you could do it there because you yeah. put. Uh, um, and most of these are actually yeah, more, so three or more here or way back here, yeah, yeah. Or over there. But yeah. now the problem that Cad has got with his British is that he and and this is also another difficult thing because when you're playing a game like this, we ha we we are the all-seeing judge of what's going on. Yeah. So you have to try and make a game mechanic that actually enables you to not know what's going on. Mm. You've got guys, uh, one forest, forest walker token yep. means that they can be up to 12 inches away from where they went in. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the two. second one means they can be 24 inches away from where they went in. So because so, I'm starting here, and there would be where my forest markers are from yeah, where I And it's a direct in, line. So I could go 24 inches. Yeah. yeah. So I've got quite the sweeping arc yeah. on the table. So if you get one more go, you could come out here. Yeah, but I can't come out here because there's not and enough there's, cover and there, there. There's not enough cover, but you could come out here a bit pointless. Mm. But you've got, but you've changed your flank with your men, and mm -hmm. this is to represent the fact that we know from 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 uh, accounts from the period that you know you'd hear a lot of Indian noises. But we can do that when he activates them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh -oh. to keep the Sorry. flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, so an right, activation. So you're you've moved. An activation is done. So Washington came out. Mm -hmm. He chose to activate units mm -hmm. instead of doing any of other potential abilities. You activate a unit at a time. Mm -hmm. So you don't. I don't go. I'm gonna activate these, these, and these. Mm -hmm. So it does give you an opportunity to see the effect of one unit before picking the, what the next one will do, which is slightly unrealistic. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it. It keeps is, the mechanics clean. Yeah, because otherwise you're putting them down and then you can't remember which one has activated, which mm -hmm. one hasn't. So it's a mechanical yeah, decision. Big, yeah. big battalion games need to be fast paced. Important question because then. Because there's less yeah. troops. So he is a level one commander. Yeah. Yeah. How many brigades could I have under his command? Uh, you could have, um, so one brigade, because mm -hmm. that's his domain, mm -hmm. but you could have 
potentially, because we haven't got this far in the development, mm. many, an many unlimited battalions. number of battalions. Because yeah. he's got yeah. a command range of only eight inches. Yeah. Right. So if he had 20 battalions, they'd all have to be crammed into that tiny space. So, yeah. so, so his, his actual um, command one does not equate to how many men he can command. Okay, that's important. It's his, command yeah. abil it's his ability to command that, is, mm -hmm. that it counts for. So, right, so they've moved. So yeah. the first thing a unit moved. does is it moves. Uh -huh. Then it can choose to shoot. Mm -hmm. if there's a unit within range. Mm -hmm. So there is a unit in range. Um, you're within four inches, so I get a short range bonus. Mm -hmm. That's a bonus only to my equipment, and it's plus one to hit. Right. So if you look at your regulars, yeah. uh -huh. our regulars are slightly different. Mm -hmm. They've got skill five plus for mm -hmm. both of them, which is the white dice. Okay. Uh, it can be any dice you like. You just speeds yeah, it up yeah, if you have two dice different colors. that are easily distinguishable. Yeah. Colors, I mean, black and white are two colors, so that's yep. great. Um, and then I've got equipment which also hit on a five plus. Okay. Now, for me, um, British, the British army in the period was, it's arguable whether they were the third or the... They were in the top five European mm. continental army. Mm. Yeah, so, so I get uh, something called disciplined fire, mm. which means I get plus one skill only for shooting. So I don't get it for combined actions or in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Right, I so only get it five becomes a four. Yeah, and then my equipment dice gets mm -hmm. the plus one because I'm within four inches. So, so that's five also becomes a four. four. So, so you've got... Eight dice, what's generating eight dice here, which right. is the important question. So you get one skill dice, put them there, mm -hmm. one of the white dice yep. for every stand, and one of the black dice for every stand. So okay, one skill, so one equipment. From what we're seeing, you have four stands here, so it's one white and black, one white and black, one white yep. and black, That's one right. white so and you black. Get, you get four of each. Mm -hmm. But the important thing, to just to recap momentarily, when he his people's actual uh, white dice, when he said that they had a, 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 a plus one chance, that is for the entire effort of the actual soldiers, whereas with the with the weapon, regardless of what's happening in the battle, that's about their training in that mm -hmm. instance. Whereas for the weapon, when they get closer, the weapon is more effective, mm -hmm. the man isn't. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why, you know, yeah, it's yeah. it yeah. the style of weapon you're using. It's yes. a smooth bore rifle, yeah. Yeah. which could go down near anywhere. The closer yeah. you are, the less spread you're gonna get. So yeah. the reason that he's closed is to get that extra, extra mm -hmm. dice value on his... Uh, yeah, so fours so and fours. Fours and fours. Um, I might let you roll my dice in the future, <laughs> Justin. You're rolling, um, my, you're rolling my one. I got one mate. hit. Um, so, you've been hit by mm -hmm. shooting. Yep. You now use your um, resolve, because it's not an armor save, It's mm -hmm. not, but it represents how likely your troops are to stay. Yeah, uh, so that's on a five. Yeah, but what you can do is, if you look, your officer mm -hmm. is within two inches of them. Mm -hmm. So he can kind of um, G them up. He can be like, stand fast, men. Yeah. Um, and he can provide a plus one bonus to right. all there of is a the risk. dice. Yes. There is so a risk. So if you were hit 10 times, he'd make it four plus on all the dice. Mm -hmm. The downside is, if you lose, for every stand you lose, uh -huh. you roll one dice for him. And on a six, he dies. Oh, right. With the unit or instead of the unit? And with the unit. Oh. So you still lose the stand and you could lose an officer. Okay. If um, he was a brave officer, mm -hmm. which just represents uncommon bravery. All the officers mm -hmm. in the period were relatively brave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, or dead. Or dead. <laughs> um, he would have to do it if he's within two inches. Gotcha. All right, so I'm on a five up. Yeah. And how many hits can a stand take? Uh, a stand can take two normally. Right, so I can have him shout out to them and not risk losing it because I'm only going to take one damage. So here. he's yeah. saying, steady, steady lads, hold the line. Yeah. It just so happens the way the dice panned out, you're bound to roll with yeah. him engaged. So I may as well make it the four. Yep. So for a four plus, oh. totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to get you to roll my dice. <laughs> uh, that was Washington's go. He's got no other troops under his command. Mm -hmm. uh, these are under Braddock, so he can't order any more. So he can move up to 12 inches. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move him in line with them. You okay. can't target officers, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter. He could be out the front. I'll just move him out of the way. Yeah. So it's just to note that that's where his command bubble is sort of yes. beginning from. Yeah. And also, sometimes you have a situation where uh, you will see that if a commander's lost mm -hmm. and you rolled and you didn't see what commander was coming forward, then they were out of command. But you'll also have a situation where you've got a level one general mm -hmm. and he literally, part of his army would have to stand because he's literally too far away from it. So uh -huh. it can repel. And you know, we were saying earlier about 40,000 men and, a, mm. you know, and that's about not having the uh, that can be representing two things it can be re representing the fact that there isn't the uh, command infrastructure mm -hmm. or it can be the lack of ability of the overall commander so that though that point system we were mm. talking about earlier There's a nice flow and it reflects a lot and you can then portray quite a lot of historical battles yeah. 
So as that's the end of Washington's action, mm -hmm. we draw the next card. All right, so what's the next card? Who's going? Uh -huh. So who is this? It's Langlade, which Langlade. is this commander here. Oh, so it's this gentleman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. what you've got as a choice mm -hmm. is you can activate units under his command now, mm -hmm. or you can take um, an inspiration token, mm -hmm. which provides him with a plus one bonus to the skill of a unit. Mm -hmm. um, what level of commander is he? He's a level two, so he can, two. he'll have another card in there. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he could take two inspiration tokens. Definitely load yourself up with one. I'll, and then, I'll yeah. grab one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll you know that Washington's one. not going to activate again, yeah. so this, yeah. this is not yeah, going to carry on. So not only have you told your men to steady themselves, you're also now, in effect, thinking of what you're going to do next. And yeah. it's the level of your command. And you know that I've only got Braddock left. Yeah. Yes, I've got two cards in there. Yeah. But the chances of me having both of those cards... Yeah. Yeah. Also, again, it's, it's determining the, the odds, which is what yeah. I like yeah. with your commander yeah. levels. You can shift the balance of the yeah. deck one way or the other. But yeah. now, now, if... A, if if uh, if a stand was in base contact with a hamlet, which is one building, it doesn't tend to do much for mm -hmm. them. Whereas these these guys here, there, this is a village because there's two buildings. Again, it's abstract, so that mm -hmm. that means that they get a certain amount of cover mm -hmm. from being in that place. Yeah. Uh, a stockade is almost as small as one of the hamlets, but it mm. gives you a lot more cover and it's about being in base contact. Yeah. So yeah. once you know how to read the battlefield, you'd know that. Yeah. These guys aren't going to move unless you shift them, really, I imagine. Yeah. So all yeah. of this yeah. is more about the representation of the land around yes. you. So we know that because there's quite a few trees put together yeah. here, that's a forest. Because there's a couple of buildings here within range, of each that's other, a, that's a, there's some kind of village there. Yeah, this is more like a little homestead out on its mm -hmm. own. Same for this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So you've done Langlade. He yep. can now choose to move 12 inches. The reason he's not moving closer to the Native Americans mm -hmm. is because they've got the scout special rule, which mm -hmm. means they can be within 24 inches and receive an order. Ah, that's handy. That's they're more, a lot more independent. Yeah, they're a lot more independent. Mm -hmm. uh, Canadian militia would be similar. Yeah. So, okay, well, I think I will end it at that. We'll draw yeah. our next card. So the next card. Who do we have? Ah, Braddock. So you're quite a long way away from me, mm -hmm. so I also want to take an inspiration token. Okay. Uh, the other thing you can do as an officer mm -hmm. is I could, if they had received any damage, I could have tried to rally the damage off. Gotcha. So next card, because I'm card. not moving okay. in. So turns can be quite quick sometimes. Yes. The, the, oh, the, the, game, the game is best to be played quickly. So which we're aware of the game. this is when we're talking about odds. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of gone in my favor a little bit, but yeah. out of my favor. Yeah. So unfortunately, I will activate this. I want to pre-measure because I can. Mm -hmm. So I want to see eight inches. So if yeah. you look, you're in. They're yeah. in. So the natives are going to fire first. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use the plus one on them because their shooting's less powerful than the regulars. Mm -hmm. um, they're an unformed unit, so I only get one dice per two stands. So and they could have been twenty-four inches away when you did that as well with them, couldn't they? With the with um, yeah, distance activate wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't worried about command distance. I know they're within eight, let alone twenty-four. Yeah. Um, but their shooting's much less effective. They're a skirmishing mm -hmm. unit. So they're more for harassing. Yeah. Uh, so you wait till they get engaged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they get one dice mm -hmm. of each type per two stands. Yep. So I get two skill dice, two equipment dice. Mm -hmm. Now, native regulars, like we said, their equipment is not as good as the regulars. Mm -hmm. um, so they only hit on six on their black dice, five on their white dice, because okay. their skill's pretty good. Let's we'll see what we get. Cool. Well, two. One hit. Because that's an equipment dice. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah so that's, but make sure you know the colours. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, right, so, so that's one hit. One hit, yeah. So you can now choose to use Damas because he's within two inches. Why would I not? Because it's only one damage. Yeah, because if you don't and you leave it there, that remains... Before They will then have their go, and so that would actually... Uh, in the same yeah, turn, it no, would no, yeah. If you had a plus one, you might not spend. You can actually plus one the resolve as well. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. So if so you so had told me if he had the one plus of these, one, he could give it to them now for the resolve. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because he's more earnestly trying to sort yeah. his men out, and also, it also then because he spent that, it's. Mm. I'm thinking about doing this, and I see these men are unsteady. So I then turn around and say, steady. Yeah. I've then lost what I had gained. Yeah. by thinking about it. So, yeah. so a way of putting it into the game mechanics. Oh, I see. All right, well, uh, I will put them into well. for a four plus, yeah, yeah. which I don't get. So, so they I do have take to mark point of damage. A, a wound, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And then Braddock's going to activate these boys here. Now, before we put go any further, can I just say, although all that Cad wanted was that, 
or it's all he, all he expected to get if he was there was a good chance he'd get one of those he wanted that because this is to represent these guys are a little bit shaken at the moment mm. oh my goodness you know we're getting a bit yeah. shot from somewhere and now these guys are going to capitalize on the fact that yeah. they're a think so they're being no, slightly unnerved rather than wounded or killed now stop for a second so your commander can activate as many units he want, as he wants within his command bubble then within, and that yeah. belong to his chain of command yeah God, so he's the brig we're not playing with commanders in chief which mm -hmm. are your major generals even though he is a major general mm -hmm. in reality so he is in command of only two units mm -hmm. if he was in command of 10 units and they were all in his bubble he yeah. could order all of them yeah. gotcha. then you see what kind of fire you could be coming under I see and that's but, why you don't let one unit move forward to so just yeah. get a obliterated mm -hmm. yeah it, normally when you activate you activate everything yeah. it's very rare to do a half activation and then a half activation mm -hmm. but it's possible uh, it's if they haven't got one of these by the, the flow of the battle yes. then yes yeah. Uh, yeah, if that, that, that tells you they're doing nothing else, this go mm -hmm. that that you know these th those yeah, yeah. scrolls yeah. So they're going to move their four inches because they're in line. Uh huh. They're going to push forward. Now the problem with being in line is I can wheel, mm -hmm. so I could turn like that. Yeah. But I can't move sideways uh. or back. I halve my movement if I did that. So if I went that way, it wouldn't have helped me. Yeah. He's but also provided his plus one token that he gained earlier to their skill. Mm -hmm. So if you were playing on continental Europe, though, the Prussians are starting to experimenting with this um, advancing oblique, at an oblique angle. They're also experimenting with... Um, yeah, if you want to play the best army, play yeah, Prussian. At this period, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Prussians fight very similarly to the armies in the Napoleonic period. Uh, so at this level, if that makes sense, the yeah. way they can form line. You will have to march in column and then turn to face the enemy yeah. in this period. All right, well, what's your, your sorry, next action sorry, yeah. So they get to now fire. Uh -huh. yep, the so they're going to fire into those. They cannot all fire into that unit okay. because you check the angle arc of fire from mm -hmm. front to back oh so they can't fire into them mm -hmm. they can't fire into them yeah but now they can they can can you split fire no okay because of the level of game we're at Oh, then they're sense. not that coordinated. I see. Well, they are much more coordinated. Is actually the right way of putting it. Yeah, rather yeah. Than not coordinated. Yeah. So they can all fire at this though, by the look of it. Yeah. So all four stands are going to fire into this column. Now you don't get a bonus for line firing into the front of a column. Mm -hmm. If I fired into your side, that'd be bad for you. And if I really? fired into your rear, that would be really bad. Okay. Um, I hate it. Yeah. If it was a cannon, though they would get an extra equipment dice for every stand it passed through. Ooh, so, I'm guessing that's the cannonball bouncing, yeah. bouncing. And it's yeah, representative it again. The drummer boy or like, you, could, you wouldn't say that one cannon would pass through a thousand men, mm. but it's just representative again. Yeah. All right, so you've got all of your stuff. Yeah, so uh, I get my so four dice. I'm don't not within your bonus to your equipment because you're outside of range now. Yeah, so I'm not within four inches. Mm -hmm. But I get plus one to my skill, a five plus, because I'm British, uh -huh. with Discipline Fire. Okay. I get I was, Not because you're British, because you're Disciplined. Yeah, <laughs> British <laughs> units get Disciplined Fire, and the Prussian <laughs> units tend not to have Disciplined Fire. They have Well Drilled, which helps okay. with different Slightly things. Slightly different, yeah. yeah. Um, but we're playing Continental America now, aren't we? Yes, so, so um, I don't get the plus one to my equipment dice, but I get plus one to my skill because yeah. of Disciplined Fire. I get another plus one because of this... Ah. Bonus. So I so, could only use it on one unit. So I'm going to use it on the unit that's going to hopefully do the most damage. So threes on your skill, fives on yep. your equipment. So I'm guessing you, black is your equipment? Black is yeah, my equipment. Before you do that, what I'd like to say is this now represents, although he's still there, this represent, represents that he focuses his attention mm -hmm. on one unit. So he's yeah. spending that that he could have used for yeah. many other things. He's now spending it on making the, uh, or enabling them to deliver a better result. And that's a better volley. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you so saying first rank fire, second rank fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. So that oh. is a lot better. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah. the equipment dice missed, except for one of them. There's except four for hits one, there. there's four hits now, mm -hmm. and you you've already got one hit on you. You can choose to throw Dumas into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Good he chance of losing him, but uh, it, it's only a one in six. Yeah chance of losing him and um, it's only per stand lost i'm gonna put him into it mm -hmm. just because that four yeah. up is so much better than a five up <laughs> it is. Yeah, and, and if you lose him then all you do is you roll for what quality of commander takes his place the, he'd lose his turn though because the card hasn't come up yet. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's see how this one pans out for me oh. so you lost two which is good for me because that is a stand right. yeah uh, stands can never be recovered mm. so if you it's rally about 11 so deterioration away. Yeah. Yeah. And that one takes a wound. Yeah. Ow. And then you do have to roll for Damas. 
One dice? One Cause, dice. Cause uh, is there lost, only one stand? Yeah, I only lost a stand, which is okay. Is it a six? It's no. a six. That was very, he's pretty awesome, isn't he, eh? That was, that was like, I am not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's him standing there going, stand two, yeah, hold yeah, your yeah. ground. But maybe that's because he knows. In a French accent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do one. I was about to do a but, French accent and I'd does, upset some people. But he do, No, don't do that, please. But he does know that you guys are building up this mm. little surprise. You're so this gets removed yep. because I've spent it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then Braddock can move 12 inches, so he's going to move uh -huh. there, so he's providing support to both of them. Right. Yeah. Now you've got a situation here where these guys are, if you like, shaken. We'll yeah. call it what you like. There, there, there is a possibility his effectiveness will deteriorate again. So you yeah. know when you get these inspirate, uh, you know, uh, the tr the trumpet t uh, token, a lot of people yeah. call it. That you can use that to remove, and then there's a dice roll. You, that yeah, you rally instead of using it, you. Yeah. When you get you your card, you rally. Mm -hmm. So he spends and time to settle them down and stop yeah, them from and you, thinking about you breaking. remove yeah. D3 plus one damage from units under your command. Mm -hmm. So if you had 10 units, mm -hmm. you'd be more likely to use it. When you've got one unit, not so much. It's not but really. It's, it's nice to be able to, to spread that around yes. amongst a mix of units if the stands yeah. only have two each. Yeah. yeah, if you were guards, like Grenadier guards, yeah. you have three. Ah. So they're more likely for you to want to rally that unit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it does vary. Uh, right. So next card, mm -hmm. which unfortunately I know has to be you. You pretty yeah. much know. Yeah, it's, I'm going to have a horrible time. It is a nice redress. No, this is unfortunate for Cad because we've got your guys who've gone forest walking. No, no, that's no, Dumas. No, it's Dumas. So yeah, this, this yeah. guy here. So this what you do? Here. So for, to let you know, for the period when you mm -hmm. form line, mm -hmm. unless you're Prussian, this stand at the front will turn. Ah. And they'll all turn facing that way or this way. I see. Now, you don't want that. No. So what you want to do is do a combined action. Okay. So to do a combined action, you take a skill check. Okay. Their skill is five plus. This is where these inspiration tokens really help. Okay. So if you get a five plus, you can move and change formation. Okay. So you'll come in in your column, line up, and, and then turn. turn. But okay. can I just let you know that what happens if you fail that is... You'll lose a stand because you stand. take one point of damage. Because your men are getting so confused, you take another point of, well, or damage, resilience, whatever. Yeah, so basically yeah. they're so still just organized. Two, yeah, so yeah. you can still do what you want to do. You just have less men yeah. available to you. All right. And it's a way of working in fatigue as well. Sorry. Five plus. No guts. No glory. <laughs> Let's see. Yay! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not yay! <laughs> oh. Here's his own demise. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is, I don't know, you've got some good dice today. But yes, but it's, it shows that you took a one in three chance. Yeah. He, he's sitting on his horse going, if I die, I will die well dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> so, okay, so I get to do a combined action. So, so you do a movement first. Uh -huh. So well, how you far can I rotate whenever I'm in column? So you can wheel. So you mm -hmm. could effectively, you measure from the outside mm -hmm. and you can move yourself in. And mm -hmm. we do allow bendy tape measures. So we know people get so upset by them. Yeah. I think if I go to about here yeah. Yeah. on the wheel. Yeah. So you want, end down within four, you want to end within four inches of me. Yeah, so if I'm about yeah. Yeah. here, I think. So your whole column would have marched al along like yeah. that, and then they would have turned to face the enemy. Yeah, so the, the standard mm -hmm. will turn first. So this guy here. Mm -hmm. And then the others yeah. will we'll line up face. alongside. So you'll, you'll already see that with this game, there's certain times where you will gain or lose inches, which mm -hmm. in other game systems don't really help at all. Yeah. The reason we make allowances for it, if both people can do it, then it's neither an advantage or a disadvantage. Yeah. It's just the way the game plays. But it means that everything goes much, much faster. Like I say, the big thing that kills a game like this is the fact that the speed you bumps. have to have one or two yeah. big sleeps in between the two. Mm -hmm. you know? So right. I'm assuming you'll fire. Uh, well, I've moved and I've reformed. Can I fire? Yep, that's Ooh. why you did the skill check. Ah, okay. If uh, you'd failed it, you'd have taken the point of damage yeah. against your resolve, uh, against your resilience, mm -hmm. which would have lost All right, your so stand. These are regular infantrymen. Yeah. Yep. So skill is five plus, equipment is five plus. Yeah. Yep. Am I within four? I am within four. Yeah. yeah. So my equipment skill remains is now four I, plus. You want to also stick your activation token with them. Uh, yeah. Just so we remember which units have and haven't activated. Yeah. yeah. That's something I always forget. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's just something right. it helps for your opponent as yeah. well. Okay. So black dice are equipment. They're on yeah. fours. Yeah. The whites are on fives. Let's see what I do here. 
That's right, I'll let you one. keep your dice, Justin, this time. <laughs> one. So I'm going to stick Braddock in there because I don't mind Braddock. Yep. Um, and I'll pass five, on a five. You're fine. So their um, resolve is five plus. Mm -hmm. Now there are units that have a special rule which is of dubious nature, mm -hmm. which means that they've got a random resolve that you don't know until the first time they're fired on. Oh. So um, a one to three, they resolve six plus. Uh -huh. A four to five, when they get fired on, they resolve five plus, which is the same as everybody else. On a six, they resolve four plus, which means that they're actually better than regulars because they're yeah. more likely to stand. And when you're yeah. playing a campaign game, there'll be other things that may influence what that is. So you'll have a modifier to your dice, but mm. that's the difference between you can. This is with this system, you can play the standalone game, you can mm -hmm. play the historical game, you can play a campaign. Mm -hmm. um, what I would like to say now is that you know the, the thing is with your forest walkers. If mm -hmm. we go back and look at your forest walkers, then well, we're we're not at that stage just yet because he still has to activate. Okay, it's one card. And, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. He's got a move Damas first. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. so yeah. Damas, he's just gonna... <laughs> he's just takes, he just wants me to be eaten by yeah. forest walkers. I love this because, yeah. right, these guys... So the last activation card is my level 2 Right, now then, you know you've been clocking up... Yeah. You know you've been clocking up these forest walkers, they've gone 12 inches away, they've gone 24 inches yeah. away, and this has been a ticking time bomb for your opponent. Now, the only way you can really try and nullify this to a degree is to have some forest walkers of your own which mm -hmm. is you, and then they could have opened they could have appeared near them mm -hmm. and then they would have been where their token is now but yeah. he didn't have that so you've been clocking it up and yeah. you can now go 24 inches to anywhere that has before three. you do that mm -hmm. the first thing you want to do is you want Langley to provide them with the yes. bonus. Ah, so yes. I pass out this plus one to because them. you yeah. want to do it this is a combined action that's only available to forest walkers. Mm -hmm. So you want to forest yeah. walk, and yeah. then you probably, unfortunately for me, want to charge. Okay. I would, because they're, so, they're screaming eagles. So I forest walk for 24 inches. And yeah, I'm go if you go it's here. It's got to be tree, three tree bases or more for a forest. So and that's, you, it's, think of it as a, a kind of portal. You enter a forest, you leave the forest. But the distance in between doesn't... Yeah, the, the, there could have been a defilade yeah. here that they yeah. travelled along. Uh, gullies, river, they just know they know ways to get around. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, they're familiar with the countryside, they yeah. can yeah. sneak and hide yeah. and shift. Now these chaps here that have just come out here, mm. they're not, they, they, they wouldn't be much so concern if they the were way, to shoot now. The way you would have done that mm -hmm. is you would have rolled the skill check. Oh, first? First, because oh, if sorry. you fail it, they just take a point of damage and lose all the forest walker. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. They, would have, and they would have ended up back where they started. That's yeah. Fact. All right. Well, so it's I'd, a risky thing. I'll put this back to just mark where they but were then. What happened, the reason you want to do it is if you charge me in the rear, it yeah. will be terrifying for me. All right. So I will And you've been forward. holding yeah. this loaded gun as well all, all game. Mm. So their skill is five. Uh -huh. It's gone down to four plus uh -huh. because of the fact that you've put the plus on them. So he, a four plus on He's it. not going to get this. He can't get this. Oh my god, he got a six! <laughs> so your luck continues. <laughs> and this is just so uh, nice, guys. Give it. <laughs> so they spend their forest walk. Yeah. They so move that, over that here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't have to charge me. You I do. <laughs> you do. Um, because so I want to see how calm that works. It's a battalion works. of ninjas. Yes. So these units, they move six inches unformed units normally. Mm -hmm. Uh, you get to add D3 to your movement, okay, so uh, you won't need it because you're within six. I'll, I'll chuck yeah. it in there, I get an extra one inch. Yeah, <laughs> so they'll move out, you can align them however... You want to get all one, the bases. But you want all the bases. Now, if you'd charged me in the front, I'd have been able to do closing fire, mm -hmm. uh, which means you'd have started taking casualties from my shooting. And you mm -hmm. take a lot of casualties. And you, you aren't very tough. They, effectively, they are resilience one. Mm -hmm. So every, you don't get this token, every casualty is a death. Can, oh. I, can, I just, can I just say though, when we talk about how resilient they are, is they're a death on the battlefield. So they're, they are removed from the game. Because mm -hmm. Indian, you know, or Native yeah, Americans, not, they would disappear back into the woods so it's it's yeah. not about their men running away yeah. mm -hmm. so now unfortunately for me unformed well it would be fortunate for me but it's not in this instance unformed units like these where they've got three men per stand mm -hmm. only hit on sixes okay in combat because their skill goes to six no matter what yeah um but you've delivered them perfectly and now uh, he's going to tell not, you what changes yeah not their original skill goes to six sorry mm -hmm. it's not uh they get modified down to six plus no matter what bonuses they have. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the native uh, irregulars, mm -hmm. they have a special oh, yeah. rule called charge plus two. Uh -huh. uh, plus two to skill checks for charges. So I'm yeah. on a four? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, you're down to a, yeah, four. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Maths. Maths. 
You've also put this with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, does that count for this too? Yes, oh, yeah. skill check. Oh, yeah. So they're so on skill three. So that plus one just sticks there for their entire activation? Yep. Awesome. Uh, so uh, for regular units, it's, obviously, it's also you, quite you good focused, for charging. You focused your command. Yeah, so I'm on three. Yeah. Yep. So imagine if you had several of those before you started, and you're a level yeah, three. Yeah, if you're a level yeah. three, you can, can stick three plus ones and make it an auto hit. Yeah. It's not an auto hit, one always fails. But yeah. But you can get as close to it as yeah. you can. So I'm on so threes. You're on threes. You get one dice per stand. OK, so I've got four there. Uh, which is different to shooting. OK. Because normally in shooting, you get one per two. Uh -huh. You actually get one per stand. Right. So how does it tomahawks feel? are out. Tomahawks oh, yeah. are out. How does it feel? Because you can see these little men rushing. It feels like you're a bird's eye. I, I love it. It's a bird's eye oh. view. It's yeah. The other modifier, you get plus one because you hit me in the rear. Oh, my God. So yeah. I'm on twos. Yeah. yeah. OK, this, this could be interesting. Uh, um, I, I don't know if interesting is the right word. Uh, That's three nice. Uh, now, with this, I don't get any resolve saves. Mm -hmm. I, unfortunately, each one, no matter how much resilience the stand has, is a dead stand. It is that removed. means it is no the, longer functional yeah, in the battle. He loves dead. Yeah, I like saying dead. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> and wounded he likes Yeah, they're, as well. they're broken, they're, they've run. So I lose three stands here. Oof, ouch. So that's 300 men that disappeared. Now, this is 300 men that are no longer effective. Yeah. But now you find the disadvantage with having these lovely guys is they like to do, the Indians like to do something particularly well, called take trophies. Yeah, I've got, the first thing I have to do is there are three stands lost within two inches of a commander. Now, in combat, you can't choose whether they're caught up in it or not. They just right. are. Mm. So I roll three dice, and if yeah. I get a single six, yeah. which I didn't get, right. thankfully, <laughs> now, um, they'd be gone. So yeah. the six was to represent the way that uh, a flank can fold instantly. You could be winning mm. a battle, and then because something like that has happened, mm. you could then find a flank, and it would keep, you know, it would keep happening until it stops. Yeah. So you can turn a whole army by doing that. So I now recoil two inches. Mm. Away which from Which is what away from the unit that caused towards ah. you. So that, oh, I'm getting it wrong. Sorry. The first thing I do is I get to strike back. Yes. With a single stand. Mm -hmm. That stand normally would hit you on its skill, which is five plus. Mm -hmm. It's fighting to the rear, so it only hits on sixes no matter what the skill is. Uh, so if I get a six, you which don't. I don't get, which should have been done before the officer, yeah. mm -hmm. I then recoil the two inches mm -hmm. because combat resolution is whoever kills the most stands, removes mm -hmm. the most stands, sorry. Right. So if I'd removed. <coughs> If I'd removed all four of your stands, I'd just stay where I was. Mm -hmm. And if you were a bigger unit, it would be the same kind of thing. So yeah. before he needs to worry about whether his Indians are actually going to uh, take trophies, uh, whether your Indians are going to take trophies, what you want to do is you want to put an activation token next to your natives. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then because you removed... But you haven't used everybody yet. Well, no, that, that happens immediately after the combat. Mm. No. So oh, okay. he, he, what you have to do is because... Um, there are regulars that take trophies. Uh -huh. um, you have to roll a dice, which is a skill check, which you've still got your plus one for, so it's mm -hmm. on a four plus. And if you fail it, you lose a stand because those troops aren't actually combat effective anymore. They're off taking Head trophies. Cuts. Cuts. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Crew cut? Yeah. Close to the bone, yeah. <laughs> four? Ooh. So unfortunately, they're all still there. <laughs> oh, you've got some discipline going on, sir. Now then. The thing is, do you remember we were saying about the commander doesn't have to decide who he gives orders to? Yeah. He can give orders to everybody mm -hmm. in his command when yep. he's activated. And I knew guys. that's exactly what you were going to do. So these, these men are rushing towards your guns in terror. I can activate. Yeah. Now, I could charge you or I could shoot you. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to shoot you. So the first thing you might need to do is wheel so only four of your stands can fire. Ah, I see. Is that going to be a combined action? No. Nope. You can always move and then fire. Ah. It would be combined if you were trying to do okay. a formation change. You can increase your speed with combined actions so to represent marching at the double. About there, I think. Yeah. More a combined than action is sort of like two moves in a ah, range I see. kind of thing. Uh, right. It's just because of the scale of game, mm -hmm. you need the, you can move and fire. I see. All right, so eight dice. Apart from these <laughs> two are firing into my flank. Yeah. So roll these two first, right, or whichever, me, pick whether you want to fire the flank first. I'll fire the flank first. Yeah. So, so you won't get any, shooting? I get minus one to my resolve. Ah. So my save will go up to a six only. <laughs> okay. So although your each stand is like a company, mm -hmm. although they can't all pick their own individual targets, yep. some of them get a better result than others, will get a better chance than others, and some of them may not be able to take the shot. Right, yeah, so they're effectively firing in for late. Five's on the white dice, four's on the black dice because yep. of range. Yep. 
Let's see what we get for this one. Uh, <laughs> two two hits. hits. So I am going to throw um, Washington in, in there with the Wolves. Why, is that because he wouldn't have a command if you don't? Uh, yeah, he's kind of <laughs> off it and then treats that. So I need sixes mm -hmm. plus one because he's helping them. So fives? No, Ooh. they're both gone. Yeah. So I roll to see if Washington's lost, mm -hmm. which he's, he's not. not. He doesn't have any troops left. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I want to keep him on the field, and it doesn't particularly matter mm -hmm. in this instance, is if Braddock died and mm -hmm. Washington was a level two officer, yeah. Washington is actually a brigadier general in this case, so he, he wouldn't take step command. up to the ah. being commander so of when, the army. So when, if he's within range of these troops, you can decide when they lose their command, mm -hmm. you can decide that they t he takes them under his wing, mm -hmm. Of course, you've got less cards, mm -hmm. or however you want. And also, the important thing was that if if he had gone, mm -hmm. then because he 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 stood with the few remainder of his men, they're very fatigued and exhausted, but they're still there. Mm -hmm. He represents as being not effectual at the moment. Mm -hmm. But because he stood, you don't have to test for anything else in your army as far as disappearing is concerned. No, I, I because I lost the last, I lost the brigade. Mm -hmm. The other brigades in my army's units need to test to see if oh, it's right. affected their morale. Yeah, but if he'd, done, if he'd gone, then there would have been a modifier to that as well, because it's a complete wipeout. Yeah, so um, they get to do a resolve test. Mm -hmm. uh, it's five plus. He will help them, because if they fail it, they lose a stand. Right. Uh, four, no. <sighs> so they lose a stand, which means uh, I do have, have to, to test for him. him. On a six, no, nope. he's good. Uh, and then these guys unit? here, yeah, for a six, six oh, they're okay. fine. Whew, that is the end of the round. I see. So it really feels fast-paced and really it unnerving. Does. It's it quite does. Quite incredible. And then for the new round, I assume we just shuffle this. We up shuffle and this. We'll go again. Um, unfortunately for me, we'd keep Washington in there as well. <laughs> um, well. I think I think we've got the the basics of play. So movement. Yeah, shooting and fighting we've all covered. Anything else? Yeah, so in the end phase, the first thing we do is remove all activation tokens. Ah, uh, yes. We do not remove any of the damage markers and we do not re remove any inspiration tokens that haven't been spent. So you uh, can stack them from turn to turn. Yeah, just so, depending on your commander's level. Yeah. Yeah. So, so your commander level one, he could just grab it for a round and save it through to the next. And yes. he's not really in danger. Yeah, uh, if I'd always go in, I'd always try and rest, be think about it before I go in. It's such a fast paced game. Mm. I mean, you know, you can have a game that takes 10 turns mm -hmm. and it will probably be over under an hour, depending on the size of troops that you've got. Mm -hmm. It really. Y yeah. Um, I like it. it. Good. It varies a lot. As you can see, the problem you can have in the game is it cascades quickly for mm -hmm. you. So for me, I did a little tiny bit of damage yeah. and then. Yeah, all of a sudden from nowhere, yeah. your flank, it actually felt like a proper flank attack that was just crushing through. Yeah, yeah and, and it this rolls is why I should, back. Mm. This is why in a bigger game I would have reserves, because I need to control this flank. Mm. Yeah. I need to push and, something into and that And that's gap. why it's so important that Wellington, Wellington's... Washington. So Washington, yeah. Wellington's not there. <laughs> right coat, wrong, wrong country and year. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is that because the command over there is still there, it, there wasn't an, an yet another negative to them mm -hmm. standing. So yeah. you could be looking across and there, it could look to you in the real world, if you like, as if there's loads of men there, but you know they're absolutely, totally ineffectual. Yeah, and whereas, that's the way the game works. Yeah, yeah. whereas us, the players, we know they're gone, they're ineffective. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are looking across going, no, no, oh. Washington's still there. He's still yeah, trying he's saying, to get them yeah, under control. In actual fact, yeah. his command's really not, not functional. Yeah. Um, so, so that's the important thing to remember when you're playing the game. That's what it, it's about. It's it, it, it's a bit abstract, but once you get used to it, you yeah. you understand how it flows. And no. th this could be an interesting thing as well because if there were other units in reserve that were able to be brought up, would that be something that I could give to command it, off it, to him? No, it, it, it depends he, on what they kind won't. Of they won't allow him to just take command of them because they have. There's instances. Uh, I'm trying to remember the exact battle where the general of the army went over to a unit and tried to tell it to do something, and they were like, you, you, "Who are you?" Yeah, it, it, because it, they don't. It's not like modern warfare. You don't recognise. Yeah, it, it's but, not um, Schwarzkopf on yeah, television but, or anything. But, in, in that, but as far as if there were some troops over here that were not under command then you wouldn't send a level one in any case because if they had to roll for a new general the worst they'd get yeah. is a level one well, well no, no, the worst what, they get is they lose was, oh, wait, for yeah, a yeah, yeah. Yeah. my thinking was is there a way for him to now 
run back to grab reserves and bring more it to the table. It depends on the game that you're playing because it dep when you're having a campaign or when you're doing, you, mm. there, there's certain options in the game. You, you So depending on how you're playing and how the person that you're um, playing against, how they want to do it, it's, it's very important that you don't overburden the game with these options, but have them as options so people, yeah. when they're familiar with it, can do other things. Yeah, but for, this is for me, why because it's, it's still in testing, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at Washington right now. If this battle is to continue, yeah. he serves no purpose other than being shot in the deck. I know, because no, not necessarily. His plus ones can be used for other units. So he can't himself order them, but he can provide bonuses and he can ah, provide. So, so, so he what, could move within two inches so of these every and time, still steady them. Every time he's here, all right, he has the effect of, be, of like having a color party with him. Mm. So every one of his commands will not be used to activate. Every one of his uh, the trumpet tokens yeah. will be used as a boost. I see. So you, I can use him as a booster for other so, units. Yeah, he would, point he would come uh, and in okay, fact, he's steady. Sense. He's like a uh, he's a, he's a um, uh, a steadying. He's also he, he's a focus. He's an he's an yeah, able to focus. They, fo they yeah. see him with the big hat and they go, yeah. Okay, he must be in charge. He's telling us. Well, to he's stop still here. You know, he's still here. Let's stand. Or yeah. he's he can tell you it, because. Anyway, that's just the way it works. That can't. Mm. That can only happen when he has lost his commander. Otherwise, he focuses on his command. I see. Yeah. You see, my, my thinking is it would just be nice if you had like a deployment, something at the back, yeah. where yeah. if he could get back to it, he could grab like a s under strength unit or, or something to, like yes. that. Because if those men who are not dead but running away, yeah. he yeah. gets back to the rally point. He yeah. can maybe grab them and bring yeah. them back. That would in depend a lot on the scenario of the game or how mm. you play it with your with yeah. your adversary. That, that, that would just be something I think would be cool for this. If it, would, we, it would be nice and thematic. Yeah, definitely. If we take Braddock as a casualty, mm -hmm. so he died earlier, yeah. he gets removed, Washington now becomes the commander-in-chief. Yeah. So Washington now takes control of those men. I've just thought uh, of a group. Sorry, I've just thought about so, right. Um, we need to head to the pub. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, let's close this one out. Oh, we'll go to the I'll pub. I'll tell you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so if I just go through what you do with a casualty of yeah, an yeah. officer. So in the end phase, after you've removed all activation tokens, mm -hmm. you pick one of the brigades. Yeah. You roll a D6. Uh -huh. Now I rolled a two. Mm -hmm. I'd replace that uh, Brigadier General with a level one officer. I see. If it's a two to a four, it's level one. Mm -hmm. If it's a five, it's a level two officer. Mm -hmm. And if it's a six, it's a level three. So gotcha. if Braddock was removed and I rolled a six, mm -hmm. I'd get a level three officer. I which see. would be better than I started with. You can get a level And then do they get, get shuffled really into the deck at the start point. of the next round, then I'm guessing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But if I roll a one, mm -hmm. that unit is not under command. Ah. That whole brigade, so you'd have to use your commander in chief, which we didn't have in this game, mm -hmm. yeah. to Just command those out. troops. And gotcha. now, if your commander in chief isn't able to give a command or they are too far away from them mm -hmm. then just as they're not in command the same thing happens yeah they're, they're, they're you indicate it by having the wounded figure over the activation and mm -hmm. that just means they will stand they will they will take you know if a charge comes for them they will shoot at the appropriate yep. moment it doesn't mean they have no officers mm -hmm. it means they have no orders to change what they are currently doing which is as a, as a static yeah, moving yeah. into position. Yeah. All right, well, I'll tell you what, everybody, get your comments in below. Tell us what you think of this game. Uh, we will move on, and uh, we will see you again very yeah. soon. Cheers, then. Bye-bye. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.